Hey everyone, I'm Czar. And I'm Leah. <laughs> and we're VGHL. We're the only student-run television show that's also FCC licensed in the nation. Uh, we're going to talk about the news now from this week. Um, so first up, CD Projekt Red, developers of Cyberpunk 2077 and uh, all three of the Witcher games, uh, recently had an investors meeting of some sort where they announced a bunch of their plans for the future. Um, including some like already announced projects. Um, I'm just going to go down the list now. Um, there's Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, which is their expansion to Cyberpunk. And they also announced uh, a bunch of new Witcher projects, um, all with code names. First up is Project Sirius. Um, this is developed by an outside studio that's not CD Projekt Red. Uh, CD Projekt Red will be supporting the project. Um, but it. The description is an innovative take on the Witcher universe telling an unforgettable story for existing Witcher fans and new audiences. Uh, it's currently in pre-production. Um, there's Project Polaris, which um, seems to be CD Projekt Red's follow-up to the uh, Witcher trilogy. Um, their plan is to develop basically an entirely new trilogy, and they're aiming to have all three of the games of all three games of the trilogy out in a six-year period, which honestly I think is very ambitious, but I hope it works out for them because, God, I love Witcher. Um, and then there's Project Canis Majoris, which is another Witcher project, uh, single-player open-world RPG, uh, contracted to a third-party studio led by ex-Witcher veterans. They did not name a studio in that, but yes. Um, I mean, on Cyberpunk, they announced Project Orion, um, which um, they didn't provide me any details, but it seems like it's going to be a sequel to Cyberpunk. Um, I'm hoping the first Cyberpunk's launch did not go great. I'm hoping they can capitalize now on like the renewed audience from The Witcher Show, or not The Witcher Show, sorry, the Cyberpunk anime that just came out on Netflix. Because um, it seems like they are trying to push this as another big franchise like The Witcher. Um, so I hope that this second game uh, launches better than the last one. Um, and their last announcement from this week, um, they're working on a new IP. It's still like very far back in pre-production. Um, it's called Project Hadar is its code name. We know next to nothing about it other than it exists. I'm surprised that like we even know this at this point. But I, I personally, this is, OK, entering personal opinion time, I trust the team at C Project Red they gave me Witcher 3, which is like kind of like all I could ask for, to be honest. But I enjoyed Cyberpunk 2077 when it launched, even though it was a buggy mess. I really enjoyed the story. So like, these are very ambitious plans, and I hope they can follow up on them. Um, yeah. Next up, Overwatch 2 beta launched this week. Um, it, we started with like they Blizzard uh, shut down Overwatch 1 to prep for the beta. Uh, so, Overwatch 1 is dead. Overwatch 2 is now alive. Um, now, personally, I haven't played it. I don't think you've played it either. I haven't played it. Um, but I've heard that the launch has been pretty rough. They've been subject to a couple of DDoS attacks. Um, and, like, honestly, launching any big online multiplayer game like this is always going to be rough just because of mm -hmm. the amount of players wanting to play. Like, I'm sure you've heard yeah. stories about, like... I think like, Overwatch 1 had a similar launch. Uh -huh. yeah. Like, I'm sure you've heard stories about, like, the queue times and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, yeah. people sitting in queue for 45 minutes to over an hour mm -hmm. trying to get into the game. Um, but, like, kind of, like, on top of, like, these outside factors and stuff, they've also, like, introduced this phone verification thing, but it doesn't accept postpaid phones. So some players uh, on those plans have not been able to play the game. Hmm. Um, they've since walked back that statement, but only like part of the way. So if you played Overwatch 1, you will not need uh, phone verification. But if you're new to Overwatch 2 and you haven't played Overwatch 1, you will need that phone verification. Um, and I haven't heard anything about uh, the post paid phone issue being resolved or anything hmm. like that. But yeah, I heard once you can actually get into the game and get like past all the fluff and like the cues and all of that, 
it's actually pretty fun. Um, though, again, that's just hearsay mm -hmm. for me, personally, because mm -hmm. I haven't played it. <laughs> um, that's Overwatch 2 stuff. Now we're moving on to the big announcement. The big news for today happened literally like a few hours ago. Yeah. It's Mario Movie. They released a trailer. It's a pretty good trailer. Yeah, I, I it was a pretty enjoyable trailer. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the better looking illumination projects they've done agree, yeah. in a while. Cause like they've been shackled to minions mm -hmm. and uh, Despicable Me forever. Yeah. I feel like since I was, God, when did Despicable Me come out? That's not important. It was a really long time ago, and they've been mm -hmm. stuck with that basically since then. Yeah. Uh, like, they just released a new Minions movie like this past year, I want to say. Mm -hmm. um, but now they're free. They're free. Uh, what did you think uh, just of the trailer? I really liked how they went, because Mario is such like a stylized mm -hmm. franchise, and with stuff like that, it's hard to adapt. And but I think they did really well by making it. Still look kind of like game, video gamey, kind of cartoony, while still making it look like these like crazy graphics uh -huh. that look realistic. But yeah. It's, yeah. God, all everything in that trailer like visually looks mm -hmm. so good. I like when Bowser first walked up. Mm -hmm. it, like they changed some of the designs from the game. Mm -hmm. I want to say, uh, Bowser. This is weird. Bowser looks like Jack Black, which feels weird to say, but like when his mouth moves, I could feel like I can see Jack Black saying that. They might have mocapped um, him. Yeah, they, they might have. They might have yeah. done that or like um, just used like his mm -hmm. VO re performance as a reference. Yeah. Um, they changed Mario's design a around a little bit, mm -hmm. and like when I first heard about it before watching it, I was like, eh. but I think seeing it in motion, it works mm -hmm. really well. Yeah, um, it's not as bad as Sonic. <laughs> The yeah, rest that. in peace, Ugly Sonic. Mm -hmm. You were like in Chippendale or something. I don't remember. <laughs> um, yeah, Jack Black and uh, Keegan Michael Key, who played Bowser and Toad, they were both in this trailer. They sound really good. Mm -hmm. And then Chris Pratt sounds like Chris Pratt. So, I mean, he's doing like a little bit of yeah. a New York accent, but like. But, but also, if you do too much mm -hmm. of an Italian accent as a you know, I I don't know what probably yeah. Irish. <laughs> it might land him in some hot water. So yeah. I think it, I think they played it safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, Chris Pratt. Anyways, that's the news for this week. We talked about Mario. Here's Mario. Uh, now we're going to a segment about Nintendo Direct from a couple weeks back. Enik and Sam are going to uh, talk about their impressions of it and of what they thought. Um, after that, we'll be back with some Resident Evil Village. Until then. Welcome to a very special industry news focused on maybe last week's, uh, depending on this comes out, Nintendo Direct. Uh, I'm Unique, and I'm here with... Sam. And there's a bunch of fun stuff we're going to talk about today. i got a whole list of them here on my phone. Um, so you watched Nintendo Direct, right? I did. I watched it, Overall, yeah. I'm, no yeah. spoilers. What were your feelings? Give it a ranking, a grade. It was pretty mixed. I mean, like the that's how like the bigger Nintendo Directs go, where there's um, there's a lot of padding and then just the big announcements. It's it's really exciting. I think it was pretty solid overall. I would give it somewhere in the B score. Yeah, that minus, sounds about right. Maybe I, yeah. like some pretty solid stuff in there. A lot of um, Japanese farming. Yeah, that happened. It was Tokyo <laughs> Game Show week, uh, right. which not to knock against those, but man, were there a lot of them and mostly Square Enix. <laughs> On to the actually important news. The big thing, the thing at the very end of the direct that has everyone actually oh. excited. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel has a name finally and an official release date. It's The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and it's going to be out May 12, 2023. I am so excited for this game. Mm -hmm. um, like I just recently finished uh, like beating the, uh, getting all the shrines done in the first game and, and uh, doing the DLC as well. And so um, I'm just like really like ready to get into like the next chapter for, the, for these open world Zelda games. The next thing that I'm most excited about, everything else is in a similar tier of like, that's cool if you're into it, mm -hmm. and a thing that is cool because I'm into it, is Pikmin 4 is going to come out next year. Yeah. No other real details about that. They've been <laughs> saying that they've been working on Pikmin 4 forever. It was announced a long time ago, but it was sort of re-revealed. They were like, yeah. We've, we did it. We weren't lying. Mm -hmm. We did make Pikmin 4. It's coming out later. Next, another big thing, a new Fire Emblem, a new mainline Fire Emblem game, and Fire Emblem Engage was announced, and that's coming out January 20th of next year, so not too long to wait for that. 
and it'll have old heroes returning like Marth and Selica, yeah. which I hope I'm pronouncing right, um, along with some others, I assume. Did you play Fire Emblem? I haven't, but I like. I, um, I know a bit about the game, so there's a lot of Fire Emblem characters in Smash, which is a game that I love, but um, yeah, uh, from what I've seen, the um, this new game looks like it's kind of going back to more um, kind of old school Fire Emblem style, because the, the, the main series Fire Emblem game before that, Three Houses, kind of um, did a lot of like new things for the series, and so I think this one is kind of stepping back and um, sort of like uh, catering to the old school fans with bringing back those uh, those big characters and uh, sort of just like taking it um, like back in a, a familiar but like obviously very well loved direction. Um, next, in a more similar vein, um, Octopath Traveler 2 was announced, which is coming out in February 24th of next year. So not long after, about a month after Fire Emblem. Um, one thing that I um, have heard about this new Octopath Traveler is they're going to try, because the, the premise is that there are eight different protagonists to the game that all like use their abilities differently, and so this new one is supposed to have their stories interconnect more, because in the original it was, it, uh, there was kind of a lot of a sense of, oh, you're, you're building a party of these different protagonists, whichever ones you choose, but um, they all are just following their own plot lines and not really, and, and the other characters are just there when you're following one plot line, so mm -hmm. um, I am, I'm, I'm really excited about this next game that it like will do more of the interweaving uh, of the plots. An important thing for this show, kind of, I mean loosely if you know anything about Vegan My Life history, which you probably don't, but I do, um, which is that GoldenEye is coming to Switch um, and will have, have exclusive online multiplayer on Switch. It's also coming to Xbox, I believe on Game Pass, um, So, it, but you can only do lo local multiplayer there mm. um, and well, you can play online only if you own it on Switch with like the N64 expansion pack that they're doing. Um, fun fact yeah. to make sense of the video game hour life history thing. Right. The show started as Goldeneye Hour Live. They oh, just wow. played Goldeneye. Just, just the one game. Wow. They just played Goldeneye. And <laughs> someone eventually uh, realized maybe it would be better if it was about all video games. <laughs> yeah. They could get a lot more out of it. It's true. <laughs> well, lastly, for the Nintendo Direct, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion releases on December 13th of this year. They've been calling it a remaster of the PSP game. It looks mm -hmm. like it falls in line with the Seven remake. And I think it, it does tie into that story. I think it's fully like. Mm -hmm. part of the saga they're telling right. with their yeah. multi-part seven remake thing. I know people are really excited about the protagonist, Zack, mm. in this thing. People love him a lot from what I hear. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see when the game comes out. I think it looks good. Final Fantasy VII Remake is a really good game. Yeah. I think that's there was other random smaller things scattered throughout that mm -hmm. were cool um, and that do deserve to be played, but this is a brief news segment and a longer show. Yeah. So that's about all we have time for um, in this industry news segment. Um, I think we can both say with a bullet, Legend of Zelda sequel is the most exciting yes. thing to come out of this. Yeah. Um, I sat through the so whole 40-minute thing yeah. at like 9 a.m. Yep. and I was like, finally, something, something good at the end. Yes. Uh, good stuff throughout, but that's the exciting bit. Um, so thank you for sticking with us. I'm Enoch. I'm Sam. And back to the show. Hello, we're back. I'm still Czar. And I'm still Leah. And we're playing Resident Evil Village. Let me unpause. Uh, so I, I'm gonna be honest. I forgot what happened. We like crashed a car. Yeah. So Chris just killed your wife. Uh huh. Uh, rest in peace. And you don't know where you are. You wake up in the in the in I think like the Romanian wilderness. Mm. I think you're in Romania. Somewhere in Eastern Europe. Okay. Okay, mm. I, I, I already hate this. Oh, it's so dark. Yeah. I, okay, I'm really bad with horror games. Uh, in case that wasn't obvious for me getting scared of the dark. Uh, but... I don't, I don't oh think God. it's as scary as Resident Evil 7. Okay. I think there's some parts where it's a little bit more humorous. But there is a bit that's like a little <laughs> jump scary. I hate this. Uh... It's kind of fun to watch knowing what's going to yeah. happen. I Do think I you crawl. went the wrong... Or, oh, you can. Crouch. Okay, Why I'm would you cutscene. touch that? Why? Oh. I, yeah, like... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sees barbed wire, touches it, bleeds. Like, not, oh, not only, shoot. like, barbed wire, like, really rusted up yeah. barbed wire. Like... Better go get your was tetanus messed. shot. Maybe he does have his tetanus shot. That's why he touches. He's like, that's oh, true. I'm safe. I can touch this. I am... <laughs> I got my tetanus, tetanus shot. Work? I don't think that's how tetanus works. I think you're supposed to take it after 
Mm. I had a workplace accident and I had to get my tetanus okay, shot. Okay, I'm gonna start moving because I hear noises. I've, I'm ignoring my environment. <laughs> There's dead rat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get <laughs> Okay, hold on. I love on. the way you just completely ignored that. I, I'm turning up the brightness because I can't see. <laughs> yeah, it's really dark. All the way. All the way. This is this is scare prevention, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is jump scare prevention. And it's still dark. <laughs> it's still dark. They really captured what it's like to run... Oh... <clears throat> Don't like that. Pew. Listen, okay. Pew. If I see a dude <laughs> running in the woods, at, in the, I'm turning around. Like, well, where, I'm going, no, I'm going back to go? that car. I'm hiding until I die. I'm hiding until like That's a true. wolf eats me. Is this the village? Is this? Uh, the... this is. Uh, I don't want to. I'm gonna try to keep it a spoiler-free. Okay. Free. I don't want to go in the house. I, I was scared of the woods, but like, I feel like the house is scarier. I'm gonna be <laughs> real. Yeah. It's a very <coughs> silent game for most of it. Well, but you at least know about like the the big lady, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's noises. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm running from the noises. <laughs> Immediately goes into the creepy basement. God. Ethan has no self-preservation. No. Uh why, why is this basement laid out like this? Why? Um, why, why, is, why is it gotta be like this? Europeans? Uh -oh. See, they've, what they've done is they've made a dead end and not to turn around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. How could they do that? <laughs> who, who developed Resident Evil? Capcom? Why? Capcom. Why do you do this to me? Oh. Why do I agree to this? Why did I agree to play Resident Evil Village today? Wait, did you actually think that was a dead end? Yeah. Oh, Wait, am I supposed to go that yeah. way? Yeah. Am I supposed to open there, the door? There, yeah, there was an interaction. Okay. I'm avoiding interactions because I'm scared that I'm Chris is, or Ethan's going to read something. Yeah. I thought you were doing a bit. <laughs> I don't think there's any curse words that you can... Uh, that is written... Maybe until you get to like a part of it. Give me the broom. I need the weapon. I need something to defend myself. Also, if I saw that rat in real life, I'm sorry. I like animals are cool and all, but I'm kicking that rat. Okay. <laughs> like high stakes situation. I'm in like the Romanian woods. Or <laughs> Damn. Run. Let me run. Please stop walking. You're, you're you're moving so slow, Ethan. Please. Who's making a racket up there? Lights off. The light, the light wasn't off earlier. The light was off. The lights off now. I don't want to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's safe. Okay, I'm blocked off. It's we're we're good. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh. Listen, if you just stay in the uh, maybe stay in the basement, you're not safe. Actually. More blood. You, yeah. You still have that, like, tetanus wound or whatever. <laughs> what broke down the door? Uh-oh. Move, please. God, stop laying on the floor and, like, waiting for something to happen to you. This is why I can't well, do horror. This is why I don't play horror yeah. games in my spare time. You know, his, his, his wife just got shot by someone he trusted, and his, his baby's gone. Where's the baby at? Where's the baby? Baby. Where's the baby? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I can run. I'm, oh. I've run. Run. It's daytime now. I can see now. That's Yippee. good. Yippee. It's like a Breath of the Wild moment. Oh. You know what? Like, I know, like, there. there's the whole thing of, like, oh, wow, this game is copying Breath of the Wild. More games need to have Breath of the Wild moments. Yeah. Like, like listen, anytime I run out onto a cliff, like, that camera better zoom out. <coughs> and you better give me that title card. I'm surprised they didn't do it here. Mm -hmm. But, like... That just rules in any game. That's a dead horse. I don't think has I don't think Resident Evil has ever done like a title card. Well, I'm not. Yeah, sure. I know they did something like it for the trailer. Mm, yeah, I don't think. Like, I understand not doing it in the game yeah. if it's like not. 
thematically fit it. I'm going to avoid. No, I can't huh. avoid the house. Uh, There's two entry points. I'll go this way. All right, we're going to turn around because I don't like the vibe of that place. The vibe oh, here is yeah. slightly better because soup, soup, soup. Oh, same soup bowl? Same soup bowl? Can I touch it without oven mitts? This side. For reference, there was a cutscene earlier where my, my now dead wife uh, touched this kind of, this soup bowl without oven mitts. You missed the something. I'm a, I'm a completionist. Okay. Is this something? Yeah, Resident Evil is one of the, oh, never mind. Oh, nope. I thought it's the after you come back. Thing. Oh, okay. I Resident see. Evil is one of those things where it's like sort of important ish to mm -hmm. like look at like everything. Okay, but with that but in mind, I'm gonna go yeah, this but way. there you can tell which stuff is like a paper it's you like get to read. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and I'm turning around. Okay, I saw a movement over here, so I'm gonna go towards yeah. this instead because uh, I'm not dealing with that. Mm. It's another car. <laughs> My I'm like a squirrel. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I like okay. see things. I'm I, like ooh. What's this? Except it's like the opposite. We're like, ooh, I'm running away from that. Mm -hmm. This is the village. Yeah. This is the village. This is the village. This is, you know, village vibes. Yeah, Resident Evil Village. All right, there's dead animals. The residents animals. are evil. Dead animals. My favorite part about oh, Resident I Evil 4 was that you could, like, kill the chickens. Or they would drop mm -hmm. eggs, and you could throw eggs. <laughs> Wait, you could just throw eggs at yeah. them? Yeah, and you can also eat it, too. But Okay. Not gonna lie, when you said the residents are evil, <laughs> that was I, that was my first time getting that. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't click in my brain until right now. Oh my god, the residents they're evil. They're evil. They. I thought it was like a whole like metaphor yeah. thing where it's like, oh, the evil is a resident in this game, like the the metaphorical like evil presence. Mm -hmm. But no, the residents are evil. Oh yeah. my god. I think, well, I don't get the title, but. You know what? I will listen to it. That sign says do not enter. I don't think I will enter. I <laughs> oh, God. I got to choose a path. <laughs> I, the, the walls are closing in. I got to choose a way. I got to go back to the dead animal heads. Uh, do you know, like, the overarching Resident Evil story? Not really. I know there's, like, Raccoon City mm -hmm. and, like, some kind of virus and, like, zombies. Yeah. So, like, the main thing is that there's, a, there's the Umbrella Corporation mm -hmm. and... I honestly don't know what their goal <laughs> is, not gonna lie. They just kind of like make really messed up stuff mm. and then release it into the American public. But now they've been expanding to the world. You know, corporations like to experiment yeah. on the public. Uh, oh yeah, and in Resident Evil, that's, there's that was a chicken. Yeah, that was not uh, something. Resident Evil has a lot of things where um, it's locked. Uh, it's very you go to the same places like all the time mm. but you will unlock more stuff and so you um i don't think you have any force but now you have force oh. i can finally defend myself <laughs> first aid kit oh. oh why are you giving me why is the game giving me health i'm scared now this is me metagame i'm metagaming right now I will drink this. Drink the soup. Do it. It is so gross. Oh, looking. that's so grimy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay, it didn't work. I tried to knock it over. It didn't work. Damn. Knives Out. That's a movie. That we're, is a movie. We're a video game show. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like when I get scared, I talk about random. Ah! Gun. <laughs> Listen, dog. You got a gun. I got a knife. We're talking about something. We can't hear it. <laughs> Did I drop my knife? Oh, right there. Oh, um, he's like, uh, shut up. <laughs> um, oh, he's real. Oh, he's, he's so scared. Yeah. Um. Oh, he's going to die. I feel it in my bones. He's about to die. Okay, never mind. Uh, I forgot what Ethan says. I think he's like, what the heck? Why'd you shoot me, man? <laughs> <laughs> we just start <laughs> dubbing over. <laughs> hey, man. I hear something upstairs. Get, get in the basement. Here's a gun. Oh. Take the gun. <laughs> Ethan, take the gun. Okay. Oh, uh, like, usually you can't hear the music because of the dialogue, but it makes it scarier that the music is yeah. the only thing you can hear now. Oh. Oh, you're dead. You're oh. gone. 
Hey, Ethan, let's run now. Please stop looking at the ceiling. You gotta go. Um, you gotta go, man. Um, you, you, he's um, dead. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Why are you still looking? Why are you still? <laughs> okay, okay. You know what, Ethan? This is your own fault. <laughs> I listen. If stuff happens, like, I'm running. <laughs> Like, sure, maybe I collapse. Oh, that's a hey, man. dead body. You good? Um, guys. Um. Hey, that's a lot of dead people. He's right behind what me. What grabbed me? He? Um, that guy. This guy. That's I have ten bullets. Oh, yeah. Like, isn't, like, oh, yeah. bullet conservation, like, a thing mm -hmm. in this game? Yeah. Oh, boy. See what happens next after commercial. That's true. We'll see what happens next after commercial. I will just say what Enix said. That's very that's a thing. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. <clears throat>
I, oh, that was gruesome. Okay. Oh. oh. It's like one and a half finger. One and a half. Yeah, he's still. That's, oh. Oh. That's less a finger, that's more a hand. Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he could grow that back with magical Listen, liquid. Listen, okay, Ethan, you gotta start moving, bud. Yeah, Yo, you gotta you gotta start moving a little faster. Yeah, I keep. Yeah, okay. I keep thinking that like Ethan was always this silent, but no. Blah, blah, blah. Oh nope. No. Oh. That's a uh, run, run. Bah. Okay, that didn't that didn't do anything. Yeah, they they take bullets like crazy. Bah. Oh, he's feeling it. Oh. oh. The music? Oh no, you're. Don't get up. Don't get up. I don't want to waste my bullets. Um, but I think you use your yeah. knife. Oh, how do I switch? Yeah, I don't. Oh. I forgot. I think there is a quicker way to switch, but I don't know. There probably is. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Deep yeah. Dead. Okay. I would try. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I okay, think we're good. We're good. Oh, okay. First zombie encounter survived. Um, oh, it's locked. Family photo? Nope, can't use the family photo. <laughs> uh, do I gotta go back in that? I it don't, just shows I do not. such a wholesome picture that the lock crumbles. I don't want to go back in here. <laughs> um, okay, we're switching back. <laughs> switching back to the gun. <laughs> oh, that was really loud. That was really loud. You know, it's really scary when you pick up bolt cutters for the first time. POV, you're in UT Austin. <laughs> I'm out. Uh. Okay. Oh, uh, I, you, I saw that, but you didn't I, see, I didn't see that. it. I, listen, if I don't see it, it's, <laughs> it not, there. it's, it's not, not there. It's not there. It's not, there. How can I be scared if there's nothing there? Mm, you're going to make me go in the house. You're making me go in the house. It is a village. Yeah, this is a village. It takes a village. It that's That's a phrase people say. It takes a village to... Okay, why has it got to be two stories, though? Why can't it just be one story? You know, I... Well, now I got to, like, worry about upstairs and, like... I don't know if I have to do this. Is this, like, a story thing? Um, maybe. Okay. I think... Yeah, this is definitely... Oh. No. I hear... I heard movement behind me. I'm not looking. You got more ammo. All right. Somebody's upstairs. Let's oh. barricade this door. Oh, I got to hold it. I got to hold it. Ugh. Okay. There, there is somebody upstairs though, cause I saw blood. Ah. Spooky. Okay, why you gotta do that? What? Chem fluid. Mm. Ah. Stop! Stop! Enough! Enough! Okay. It told told me about something. I don't know. I'm gonna ignore that. Oh yeah, and that's the inventory thing is. Do I have to craft something? Oh no. Okay. Not not yet. But it is an interesting mechanic for Resident Evil. Enough. Get away from me. It's kinda fun. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I I caught him up a little bit. Whoa. Oh I'm, I'm... Ah! Stop. Stop. Out. Get off me. I gotta run. I don't know where to run. I'm trying to run uh. past this guy and be economical with my bullets. Alright. Maybe the knife was a mistake. I'm gonna switch back to the gun. Though. Yeah. Oh, All right. good nice. How do I get out of here? Let, let, let me out of the house. I think, oh. Money? Money. You know, zombies, well-known carriers of money. Do I just gotta get rid of them all? I think. Okay, I know there's more. I saw at least one more. I'm making a mistake. Ooh. This is a bad idea. That messed up hand, bro. Oh, come on. Oh. Okay. <gasps> Gotta peek the corners. <laughs> I've play, I played FPS games before. I've played Valorant before. This is so much like Valorant. <gasps> Guys, they're on A. I, I haven't played no. Valorant in so long. Uh, <laughs> I know there's another one out here somewhere. Oh, you're making me go into another house. It's a village. The oh. game's telling me to run, I'm running. Uh, 
But also, shot. I think you missed some ammo. I probably did. I was. I saw the prompt to, that said like run or something. And I was like, okay, I, I gotta run now. <laughs> Survive the attack. Okay. Barricade. I'm actually, you know what? I'm not a big fan of locking myself in the house. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. I love now they're showing you everything yep. you needed to know. They're giving me a lot of stuff right now. Actually, Brush. that's a good idea. I should use this. I think. Uh. Oh yeah, you can. Make I can. I, let's let's make some. Let's make a first aid mit. You crafter. All right. Minecrafter. Uh. Yo, I'd be healing. Um. All right, they're knocking out the door. I'm going down here. <laughs> I'm in survival mode now. <laughs> I, this is no longer scared mode. There's active threats. I got a shotgun. This dude has a machete. He's looking at me. Uh, attack to make cloud cover. Ooh, do I get stealth mechanics? Oh. Oh, he's still up. Oh, he's still up. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Oh. Stop. Why is there fire falling from the sky? Oh, there's so many. I made. I should not have engaged. Uh, I should not have engaged. I uh, thought it was. I thought it was just like the one. Oh. They hung. Oh my god. Oh. All right. Time to move this way. Oh. I. Uh, why? Why is the music gotta be? So oh, there's arrows raining from the sky. So, are they like trying to shoot me or are they trying to shoot them? I, I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, I'm very scared right now. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Enough. I missed. <laughs> oh. I missed again. Whoa. Oh, okay. That dude got no reach. Uh, uh, uh. There's more. That. Die. I'm running. I'm running. I'm run Flammable barrel. I'm. Okay. This is the plan. We all know the plan. Mm hmm. Please don't shoot fire person, fire arrow person. Please don't. That worked out. Hey, that worked out. There's so many. You know what? It is a village. Mm -hmm. it, it is do a be, village. It do be a village. Okay, we're good. The the music isn't stopping. I don't think we're good. <laughs> Crystal skull. <laughs> that, that one actually scared me. They blend in so well with the environment. Yeah. Okay, I got 10 bullets left. Oh, big guy! Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know what? I got 9 bullets. I don't think 9 bullets will put a dent in this dude. It's locked. It's locked. Um. Uh. Make a uh, run for it. Okay, this Not is... Not that way. Going around. I dodged this. I dodged, I, I dodged this so easy. I dodged this so easy. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're, we're chilling. <laughs> oh, ah. Okay, this is where I was before I've gone in a circle. What I've done is I've gone in a circle. This is a dead end. I knew I knew this was a dead end, but I unlocked it. It's no longer a dead It's now another circle. Guys, what is life but circles? You know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I talk about strange things when I'm about to die. I should probably go this. This, this looks safer. Oh, it's locked. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> Do I? I don't know. Ah! Oh. It's so big. Oh man, this is this is a oh, choke point. Oh, how did he appear? Man, that guy just really Goku. Or something. I, Whoa. Oh. Hey, chill. Ow. Ah. The arrow guy. Come on. The arrow guy. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I'm dead. That's death. That's death. I think I'm dead. Is that death? You know what? Maybe it's not. I took a slash in the face. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. Uh. Yucky river water. Oh, the horses. Oh, they're zombies? I'm confused. But they have zombies on their zombies. Congratulations. You survived. Oh. Oh. Bro, stop breathing in my face. I'm sure that's like really snake. Oh my god. He's such a big man. Big guy. Okay. Man. Bowser be like, you, you don't gotta show off like that, okay? I un I already understand from your like stature that you're 
like oh, they don't make any noise because of my tongue. Bro, um, man. he's like, <sighs> why are you so stinky though? They look so silly <laughs> with the Oh, Dang, I think yo, he jumping. I guess that sound effect was. I think there was a bell that rung. Mm, okay. Zombies. One of the sounds probably. <clears throat> Ouchie. Ow. Ethan got no pain. You know what? Still missing that finger. Oh, man. He's like, oh, he's wrap is he wrapping it in a bandage? Show me. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he really is like Yoda-ing. I know. <laughs> he's like. That old lady was just like, hello. And now she's walking away. That. I kind of wish okay. we had dialogue on because yeah. Ethan's interaction with that old lady is so funny, <laughs> but I, I, he does curse to her okay. a lot. So I think it Got you. He's like, <laughs> where am I? Who are you? Because all she does is speak in riddles. Mm. I feel like that's a pretty common old lady trope. Mm -hmm. Especially when they look like this. I can't even see her face. She's walking with her skull totem. Yeah. Uh, Ethan does just like grab her. Ethan. I, I don't know what she's saying. I, I was gonna make something up, but I think like. He, I think she's you know, like grab the four or something. There's zombies in this village. There's, there's, there's evil residents in this village. Eight of them. Guys get it because it's Resident Evil 8. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm good at wordplay. I'm a writer. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still scared. This is like a safe part of the game, but I'm still scared. Uh. Yeah, I think you are now mostly safe to mm. explore. Okay. Oh. The world is unlocked. Unless she closes it. Uh, why is she locked me in? I'm locking you in the village, Ethan. You must find the eight evil residents. Or you cannot escape. <laughs> go find your baby, <laughs> loser. That's what she said. What up? Look for yeah. yeah, go find your baby. Go find the baba. Baby? Baba? No baby. Uh, mm. Demon summoning. Probably. Ritual baby. Hello, baby. Okay, I should not be pointing a gun at the baby. <laughs> uh, I, honestly, out of the three options, all these options suck for baby finding. Mm -hmm. Let me use my Yoda hand. It'll be like E.T. or something. I, I haven't watched that movie. View map. View map. Go. Your map, maiden, maiden, of, I made. <laughs> Reading is hard, guys. Uh, are these objectives? There's a uh, lot. So if it's blue, you've been in there before, okay. I think. Okay. And so. oh yeah, search completed. So that means oh, you've okay. gotten everything that that's possible in there. Mm, um, okay. Red means you haven't gotten okay. everything that's in there. This house is close by. Let's go mm -hmm. in this house. Left. I always, that's why like, I wish games had a mini-map. Yeah. It's so yeah. disorienting. I, uh, I'm i very directionally challenged, so I gotta mm -hmm. like, pause. Okay, oh, yeah, I'm assuming there's out. something in this house that I missed. Yeah. I can actually bust open the door. Oh, you, you know what? I don't know how I missed that. That was like, really obvious. That's paper. It's paper, yeah. You guys, I'm role-playing as an illiterate Ethan. <laughs> I can't read. He can't read. Doesn't need to read. Yeah. He knows how to use a gun. That's yep. that's all you I need. I mean, like zombie apocalypse. I feel like actually no, that's a lie. Reading is pretty important. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say the opposite, but uh, this needs some kind of other item. Okay. Oh, I can craft ammo. I should do that. Yeah. <laughs> Crafting. I should also. Uh, I don't have any herbs. I'm gonna craft some ammo real quick. I'm also gonna heal up. Yeah. Before I die. Oh. Yippee. Pour, pour that magic healing liquid. Oh, this door doesn't open. Okay. Car. With that's not a car. That's a tractor. <laughs> okay, we're we're like out of the jump scare section of the game. I'd say, or like the scripted jump scare section. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I still will get um, jump scared at some point. We're in a graveyard. This feel like I feel like I'm walking into something. Castle Dimitrescu. Nope. Can't use the photo there. Hello, baby. 
Oh, church, church vibes? Uh, I probably need this. You know, that looked like a circle. And you know what was on that big door outside? A circle. I'm not going to save. This oh, is Ryan's. Yeah. <laughs> this is Ryan's PS5. I don't know. If, should I point out certain things? Yes, because I okay. will get lost. So <laughs> if you go back in the house, I guess this is more just like a if you want it thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a bunch of pictures above there. Oh, like up top? Yeah, if it sparkles and you shoot it. Ah. Oh. Yeah. And it drops stuff. Oh, did it drop stuff? Yeah. Oh, you see. Ah. And I think you can, you can sell it or use it for something. Okay. I forgot. Cool. But that's a, a thing in most of the games. I know it was okay. a thing in um, 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. This is probably locked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. I'm gonna try the circle thing on that big gate. I don't know if it'll work. Big door. Big the grave big door. Cast or... See, this is nice because I can just like you know run around, ignore my problems. This crest <laughs> won't fit here. Okay. Well, there's it's no like a zombies. lady face, so you can put mm. on the lady. Oh, is it back there? Did yeah. I miss it? Okay. You put. You try to put on the demon face. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. Oh yeah, you're right. There's two. Ah, there's two. Lady face, and you got a <sighs> little mini game. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't really make out her face. I yeah. can't see it. I. This uh, is. I can't tell. Uh, oh, I see. I yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yippee. You got it. All right. Now you gotta find the other one. Now you gotta find a demon. Demon face. Let's go this way. Stronghold. Stronghold. Very Stronghold. convenient American English. You know, Romanians, famous English speakers. Yeah. I actually don't know if that's true. I don't know anything about Romania. Um, I think. I think it is in Romania. I know it's I, in Eastern honestly, Europe, yeah. but I don't think they speak English primarily yeah. in Eastern Europe. Oh. Okay. I I like. Did the double take where like, is that a scarecrow? Wait, no, that's a thing that's moving. And then it was like, oh no, it is a scarecrow. I don't like that there's a barricade here. I don't like that the music's ramping up. I'm in danger. The, something's about to happen. Mine. Can I blow things up? I, uh, shortcut, there we go. It already did it. I, I, the music's ramping up, which makes me think that there's something God, something's gonna kill me. In Resident Evil 4, there's a dog. <laughs> and you can shoot the dog. Mm -hmm. Don't shoot dogs. Don't shoot dogs. But you can shoot that dog. I sh I'm not proud to say that <laughs> I shot the dog because it was barking really loud uh -huh. constantly and it made me mad, so I shot it. <laughs> it made me mad. Was it an evil dog or is it just like a normal dog? I think it. Because, like, been zombie evil. dog, you have, like, a little bit of excuse. Yeah. But, like, uh, Let's see. I can't cross over this. Uh, Ethan's not athletic. He's athletic going over that fence over there. Oh! I thought that was a rock. <laughs> I thought that was a I didn't know what. Oh, he jumped too. Boom. You know what? God bless auto aim. <laughs> oh, he died. Batman. Okay, you're good. The music is kind of. Yeah. Uh. I'm just gonna follow this path, and nothing bad will happen to me at all. Nothing at all. Can I break this? Nope. Oh, I got two bullets. Okay, I thought... Oh, there's Help a lady. Help me! Oh, yeah, I remember this bit. She's like, You! Are you one of them or something? Oh, that's... Oh, oh and the dad, and the okay. dad's like... I thought that was a zombie for a second. You're one of them! And he's like, No, I'm a person. Nah, bro. I got these Yoda hand. Yeah, Singular. I got one Yoda Singular. hand. I got my one Yoda hand. Um... My dad's been bitten and he needs help, and we have to okay. go to. Okay, so some place. I don't know how zombie bites work in Resident Evil. Is it like infection type deal? I think in this one, I think um, 
you do go a little insane. Yeah, okay. it is an infection. But but it's not like zombie infection. Mm -hmm. Like you won't turn. Yeah, Ethan's okay. a little special. Yeah, yeah, we got that protagonist blood. Yeah. Things. So we we're, we're we're okay. Dad might not be okay. Find shelter in Louisa's yeah. home. If we don't okay get that far, if we don't continue playing, I know I know the the big spoiler. <gasps> Or something oh, that man's gonna die zombie because it's time to end the show. Okay. Okay. Well, poor dad. You uh, know, I'm sorry you gotta peace. live like this, but you gotta live like this. I'm sorry. We, nothing can be done. Yeah. Uh, I've been Zar. I'm Leah. Uh, and we've been VGHL. Uh, we will see you next week. Bye bye.